Good morning, good morning, good morning. I got my Schaefer hat on because we're going to talk politics. We're going to talk politics and we're going to talk about mass incarceration in the prison industry. I showed a movie, The 13th Amendment, for a reason. Because it shows the, the corruption in the courts. It shows how the politicians are getting paid to lock black people up in America. And they're doing it through legal ways. So I made a documentary about it. It's called Letters to Zion. And it details mass incarceration since 1986 and the illegal war on drugs. You can go to State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. That's when I started this. I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station, the Waukegan police station. I shot up the town for 45 minutes. I won my case on appeal, but I wanted to show the guns and the drugs and the murder and the death and the killing and the illegal war on drugs. All this is in court records, so court files in the state of Illinois Appeals Division. I won my case on appeal. David Irwin from David Irwin, the prominent lawyer here in Maryland, knows about this. Because like I said, I was doing this documentary. And when I started this documentary, I informed Congressman Cummings, Senator Cardins, Mikulski. I informed all public and elected officials I was doing this movie. I gave them fair Advance notice, but I didn't let them know that the movie was about them. All right? Plain and simple. So this is where we're going with this. I'm homeless and I'm broke, so I'm I'm kind of in a money bind. So I'm selling everything that I'm getting ready to show you. If somebody figure out a price for it, somebody got Netflix, anybody got ties to anybody, David Sands, if anybody got ties to anybody, I'm selling all this. Because this is Baltimore Rewired. I ain't got to change nobody's names. When I call a name out, I can say it, and they can't do nothing about it. They have to accept it. So I'm getting ready to show you what's for sale. You feel me? It's the art of getting money. And I'm going to show you for, for what's for sale. I'm selling, your, I'm selling your prison industry. I'm selling the knowledge of your prison industry. I'm selling your, your blueprint for mass incarceration. It's the art of getting money. And I'm going to break you down. Matter of fact, I already broke you down. That's the case right there, all right? That that right there is just a movie in itself. That was a three-day trial. If you do that trial, that's a movie in itself. You can get paid off of that. This is also a movie in itself. That's when the Baltimore City Police Department came in my house and put guns to my head because of this movie, because of Governor O'Malley, because of Sinead Bettenois, because of the secrets that y'all hide in y'all's political bedrooms. You feel me? It's a search warrant for 1402 Lochner, all right? Miscellaneous photos, U.S. mail, Navy federal address, Dwayne Davis. You feel me? Toilet wrapped in newspapers. You feel me? Search warrant, 99 Chevy Suburban. You feel me? That's your search warrant, and you never returned my property. The contents of the property was my intellectual property, and it was insured. It was insured by Insurance Incorporated, and it was insured by State Farm Insurance. Now, State Farm Insurance is part of ALEC. Walmart is part of ALEC. You feel me? ALEC, 13th Amendment. So I expose your police department, and I put their shit on the toilet. I got tapes. I got Obama tapes. I got Ku Klux Klan tapes. And I got a United States instructions for filing them. And I need a lawyer to file that action. So if any one of you lawyers want to help me out, if any one of you lawyers want to help me file this, y'all can figure out how I can sell all of this. How I can sell all these videos and all this material. Because like I said, I'm exposing mass incarceration in the prison industry. I'm showing you how lawyers work with public, how public defenders and lawyers work with the state's attorneys to incarcerate us. That's my lawyer. I fired my lawyer, Thomas Sanders, and I defended myself. You feel me? I defended myself. No legal background, no legal education, no nothing. I walked in the courtroom and handled my business. I asked for a replevin act, and I never got it. You feel me? I asked for the replevin act, and I went to our senators and our congressmen to do it, House of Representatives. Because mass incarceration goes through your senators, your congressmen. It's bills that they pass and laws that they enforce. 
That's my lawyer, Thomas Saunders. That's the Baltimore FBI, Richard McFeely, Ambassador Road. That's me. That's legal mail. Tampering with mail is a federal offense. Send a reply. My lawyer never replied. My lawyer never gave this to, to the FBI. All right. That's Ellen Ambrose from the Baltimore Sun. I contacted Ellen Ambrose from the Baltimore Sun. The Baltimore Sun knew about this, the whole thing. The Baltimore Sun, the Waukegan New Sun, the Chicago Tribune. You feel me? The Chicago Sun Times. Fox 45. That's my lawyer. Tampering with mail is a federal offense. It was a whistleblower's act. I was blowing the whistle on the prison industry and mass incarceration. I was naming the public officials and the corporations that get made get paid to lock black people up. Make copies and send it to Eric Holder. Yeah, the Department of Justice got this. State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger. Yeah, Schellenberger got this because the toilet was about Schellenberger. U.S. postal violations. That's federal offenses. Now I went to state of Maryland, all right, 2018. Because like I said, I've been doing this since 2006. You got 13 years of this, all right? And y'all kicked me out of the school because I was telling the young black men how to defend themselves against the police and police brutality. Democrats for Hogan. See, the Democrats and the Republicans share mass incarceration. And you got Ben Jealous running for governor. I support Ben Jealous. I support Ben Jealous wholeheartedly. But Ben Jealous got to get off his ass and put in some work. He ain't got but a little bit of time left if he want to win this race. If, if he wants to win this race. But if he wins this race, he got to deal with this. That's David Irwin. All right. David Irwin. Federal Bar, I am writing you this letter because you are involved in this case. The state's attorney, Bernstein, I find it strange to read the comments that you want a bench trial for your client. All right. I don't want no bench trial because that bench trial is when the corruption sits in. That's the corruption. I'm a political prisoner and a victim. All right. A racially biased system. You can contact Margaret Davis. You can kind of, these are, this is all the stuff they had. And that was my AOL account. And y'all took my AOL account. And if you get all my, all my information from my AOL account, y'all going to really, really, really see the information. That's the clerk of the court. Clerk, clerk of the court. That's the state of Maryland. Custodial records. All right. 29th day of September. All right. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, a 1999 Chevy Suburban, Maryland registration, all right? If these contents have been destroyed or di disposed of, then produce and provide to Jerome Joyce Esquire, all right? Office of the Public Defender. You never provided any of that information and you destroyed the evidence. You know what I'm saying? That was theft. That was obstruction of justice. That was evidence for my case, for my trial. You destroyed evidence for my trial. The state participated in this fraud. That was about the 2000. That was about the 2014, 2010 elections. So this is where we're going with this. Because like I said, I'm breaking you down. And I'm putting this on film so there ain't no misunderstandings. I got an insurance claim. And I want my insurance claim paid off. But like I said, book, movie, lawsuit. Here go the book. You see me making the movie. Lawsuit ain't far behind. This is about Governor O'Malley and stopping Frisk and Zero Tolerance. That's my son. You feel me? This is about Governor O'Malley stopping Frisk and Zero Tolerance. See when it was made? That's Pastor Jerome Stevens over there. All right. And I gave this to them. You feel me? See the people in the room? That's Pastor Jerome Stevens. That's why he run every time he see me. This was about me and my son making a movie about O'Malley and zero tolerance and his mass incarceration and the money he get paid off of locking up our kids. Russell never done. You feel me? I've been asking for lawyers to represent me. Nobody want to take this case. 
February 13, all right, in response to your phone call asking for an investigation into my illegal detention, all right, Civil Rights Division, and I got the Department of Justice in this, that's Thomas Saunders, my lawyer, Department of Corrections, Mr. Davis, yesterday I went to the prosecutor and visit the bomb squad, the police headquarters, if you visited the bomb squad and the police headquarters, why was my truck taken? You participated in them stealing my truck and destroying my information. I have also a conversation with Rob Fix. He advises me that you showed him the video. Yeah, I showed him the video. You didn't show the, the, the jury the video. You didn't show the grand jury the video. It was on 20 Sunday, which certainly confirms your statements to me that the toilet was there for 24 hours before anyone called the police. Yeah, that toilet was there for 24 hours. It also conversations the member of the bomb squad expert witnesses believe the event and this testimony will be useful. All right. Yeah. I had to fire my lawyer because you let them destroy the evidence. You know what I'm saying? And you wrote me this. So I went to federal court with this. Notice of intention to file. I, filed, I gave you notice of intention me to file a lawsuit, and y'all been blocking me from filing a lawsuit ever since I did it. I filed a 54, what? I filed a couple lawsuits, and y'all blocked it because I didn't have a lawyer. So I need a lawyer. I need a lawyer to refile these lawsuits. I need a lawyer to file this paperwork. I need a lawyer because I'm going to file a hell of a lawsuit, a $54 million lawsuit, a $100 million. Man, I'm going to put numbers on it that y'all can't take. And we're going to talk about this right here because, like I said, Y'all kidnapped me. Y'all stole me. I'm a whistleblower. President Obama asked for an investigation. I'm the subject of the investigation. Yeah, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied till my money is paid, till my standing in the community is brought back. Because Mark Kirk is sitting in Obama's seat. All right. And then we're talking about the Ku Klux Klan. And racism in the courts. You feel me? Like I said. And y'all want Ed Norris back. Dog, I was breaking down y'all corruption because I I was a caterer. I sat here through all of this. I catered a lot of y'all's events. And I've been fighting with the police forever. Like I said, that was for a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit. I came to file a lawsuit in the court, and they stopped me from filing the lawsuit. You feel me? And I got it on film. That's the lawsuit. It was going up to the state's attorney's office to be filed so they could do it, but they refused to do it. Two thousand ten, Judge Boris. You feel me? Constitutional law. I informed. You and all persons involved in the legal action being sought against your courts. Filmmaker. You feel me? And I named y'all in here. 163 days. Knowingly lied to the grand jury. Y'all lied to the grand jury in Illinois and in Maryland. And that's Ben Cardin's, like I said. Documentary. Ain't no law against making a movie. The movie was about the murder and the death of our kids. And I told y'all what I was going to do to y'all. That's my son. So I got a vested interest in that. Business development, crime and police industry, and job development. All right? To be a voice for the voiceless. Deal with judicial and political issues that affect our community and the underclass. Baltimore City got this. These are the supporters of Sugar Police. All right? And this is what's going to really rock your world. Because y'all see me by myself. I'm not by myself. I'm not by myself. You feel me? These are the people that support me. And Governor O'Malley had this. Kathleen Pugh had this. These are the supporters of Shorties. You see, who they are residents of the city. They're voters. You feel me? Y'all got mad because I joined the Republican Party and I was getting blacks to join the Republican Party. These are the supporters from Shorties from Zion Benton from 2007. So I got them from Zion and Maryland. You feel me? 
I was making a documentary about your courts and your racism in your courts, the murder and the death and the killings of the kids. You feel me? These are the kids that you was killing, man. These are the kids that attended my son's funeral. You feel me? See how many? You see when they did that? That was on his birthday. Birthdays is the worst days. You feel me? We had 1,300. All right? 1,300. This is on MySpace. MySpace, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. That's what I use, social media. This was on MySpace. And this is what it was about. It was about mass incarceration in the prison industry. Equal protections under the law. False imprisonment. You feel me? It was your senators and your congressmen that get paid to lock black America up. Dear senators, this is a follow-up letter. I'm with Sanders, Randall's Town for Change. You locked up a whistleblower and a community activist. You locked up a whistleblower and a community activist. Like I said, all this is out here for the public to see. I ain't got nothing to hide. That's the legal notice. And that's on, that's on file. In Illinois and in Maryland. Baltimore City, Baltimore County. You feel me? Lake County. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. Case number. Defendants charged with a bomb threat. Terrorist activity. I didn't do it. You feel me? Making a documentary about racism in the Lake County judicial system. Yes, I did that. And you got that. You feel me? So you went from locking me up there to locking me up here. And that's where you got caught up. Because I fired my lawyer and I defended myself. And this is to prove I was making a movie about the judicial system. You feel me? Y'all got the 13th Amendment, but the 13th Amendment didn't go this deep. I went inside the jails. I showed the conditions in jail. I showed the, the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians that get paid to lock us up. And being white didn't mean nothing. My white privilege didn't work in jail because they saw my black face. Yeah, I'm the whitest black, I'm the blackest white person you've seen. <laughs> I'm no, the blackest white boy you know. So when I make a bet and say I'm white, that don't make me right. That just makes me win the bet. And like I said, you denied me access to the court. Denied, 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 denied. Denied me access to the court. Because if I go into court, we're going to put all this on the table. Everything in this book goes all on the table. You feel me? Chief Judge Previs, it's going to go on the table. I wrote you when I was in, before I went to jail. You feel me? Chief Judge Previs. Over six months, I have contacted the state's attorney's office. Patricia, all right? It's 2009. So I need you lawyers to refile this case. I refile this case. I'm going to include Bank of America, SunTrust Bank. I'm going to include the state of Maryland. I'm going to include Scott Schellenberger. I'm going to include everybody that stole the evidence for this case. I need a lawyer. I need a lawyer to file this case in Baltimore City. This was for $54 million. I am Dred Scott. So, like I said, my father's a veteran. I'm a veteran. Get all letters. Like the movie The 13th Amendment, Alec. That's Sam's Club. Like the movie The 13th Amendment, Alec. I showed you. All right. I want to join the FBI probe. This is just the movie. Like I said, the Chicago Sun Times. Essay baffles. Y'all locked us dude up for writing an essay. You locked me up for a toilet. That's President Obama. Ask, that's a movie release. Shorty documentary. President Obama. Shorty documentary. Movie release. Baltimore Sun. Brent Jones. Y'all had this before. Y'all had this before I got locked up. That's Charles Gibson. He got this. 
So I show the role that the media plays in misinformation because, like I said, I got the movie releases. That's a Supreme Court, Governor Quinn. You feel me? Shorty's voice. That's all these tapes. If you go to Shorty's voice, that's all these tapes. And like I said, my movie about the courts, Judge Foreman, my movie about the corruption in the courts. You feel me? And the money that you make off of the inmates. You feel me? Shorty documentary. And the forged checks, because that signature maxed those forged checks. I was locked up in another state. So we're going to end all this where we started this at. We're going to end it in court. And we're going to play all of your tapes. And all of your tapes. And everything that you got. Because my daddy taught me how to be a man. My father taught me how to be a soldier. My father taught me a lot of things. He taught me about being black and white America. You feel me? My mother taught me how to love. My father taught me how to fight. You feel me? I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy. In 1979, I participated in the war on drugs. We transported drugs on the USS Mississippi. You can check my DD-214, my honorably discharged paperwork. Check my paperwork. I was charged with loan sharking and distribution of drugs, but I still had an honorably discharge, I had honorable discharge because the government permitted that. Iran-Contra, Oliver North, yeah. The illegal war on drugs is manufactured and produced by our government. 13th Amendment is legalized slavery to re-enslave the black community in America. You mad about a movie? Dog, you're going to get real mad because, like I said, my daddy taught me how to fight. They go to tapes. They go to movie releases. They get on movies. They go to lawsuit. And all these public officials, like in the movie The 13th Amendment, you want to know who signed those bills to lock you up? They did. They did. So like I said, this is for sale. And I got all rights to toilets, dog, potty training politicians, all that. Never bite the hand that feeds you. Never, ever bite the hand that feeds you. And I fed over a million people in Baltimore. You feel me? I fed more than a million people in Baltimore. I've never committed any crimes in this state other than being black. So what you got to do with me is figure out what you're going to do with me. I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to sue you. Judge Cox has my paperwork for the Supreme Court. If I don't get remedy in the lower courts, my shit going directly to the Supreme Court like Dred Scott. You stole my property. That property was a movie about you. Don't hate the player, cuz. Hate the game. Told y'all I'm not from around here. I'm from Illinois. I'm from Zion, Illinois. And in Illinois, Chicago, Zion, the whole state, we black people, we get down. We don't lay down. I'm thug. I ain't no thug. Told y'all I'm a finesse type hustler. I'm a finesse type hustler. I got good game. Now, when we started this, this was a fight with O'Malley. Uh, Schellenberger, Bernstein, Chief of Police Belfield, and Chief Johnson. And I told y'all I was gonna. I told y'all what I was gonna do to y'all. I gave. I made a hundred dollar bet that I would beat you in court. I beat you in court. I bet y'all that I would do this to y'all. I won. Now I'm selling everything that I got. I'm selling everything that I got to expose you. Anybody make me an offer for the movie? Somebody wanna cut edit the movie? Anything. Dog, this is worth millions and millions of dollars. If I was selling it for $54 million in 2010, it's worth $100 million in 2018. And your careers, your 401ks, y'all can go to jail. You're going to have to let a lot of inmates go. Schellenberger's case is going to be reversed and remanded. He's going to end up in jail like Nafon. Y'all do what you got to do, but dog... 
All I'm asking you to do is give me a grand jury or lock me up, one or the other. You between a rock and a higher place, the mud and the dirt. Because if you lock me up, everything that you just seen on this tape is going to fucking court. We're going to play them fucking videos in court. We're going to play them videos in front of a jury. Dog, I'm not going to take no bench trial. That's like playing cards with three friends and a stranger. No, I want a bench trial. I want a jury of 12. Because I know how to work a courtroom. Like I know how to work a grill. Now, like I said, I need a lawyer. I got an insurance claim on Monday. Uh, 3 o'clock with Al Redmer at uh, 2 St. Paul Street with the, the Maryland Insurance Company. My claim is against Jake Davis, Insurance Incorporated, Bank of America, uh, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, Insurance Incorporated, and State Farm Insurance. Because I was insured. My truck was insured when you took it. I was insured in 2008 when you kidnapped me from filing that lawsuit. So Al Redmer is between the rock and the higher place because his loyalty to the party or his loyalty to his job. Because that's insurance fraud. That's consumer protection violations by the state because the state accepted the forged checks. The state participated in the fraud. I was locked up for 186 days, so any checks that was written in them 186 days are fraud. Those are criminal charges. And the state participated because they charged me with crimes instead of charging the criminals. You was trying to hide your lie. Your lie is still here, because the truth is still here. I'm going to give you that Schaefer shit. I want all of it.